Don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two newly released books, Football, A Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? These books feature over 100 stories from current and former coaches, players, executives, and entertainers from across the football landscape describing what got them involved in a game, what they love about it, and what life lessons the game taught them. You can find your copy or order your copy from our website at footballgameplan.com slash books. Before we get to the report, if you like our style of video and analysis, feel free to show support for Football Game Plan by dropping by our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan and leaving a little something in the tip jar. Every little bit helps us as we continue to improve the quality of our videos and the coverage we enjoy bringing you guys each and every time we put out a project. Thank you again for your support. Welcome to Football Game Plans Talking with TV. I'm your host, Teron Dalton. Welcome to footballgameplan.com. I am Teron Davenport, and you are now talking with TD. We're going to bring in a cornerback. We're going to go to Texas A&M, bring in corner Devontae Harris. Devontae, how's it going, man? Doing good, man. Doing great. I'm just chilling. Uh, getting ready to go there. How you doing? I'm doing really well, man. I know you're, you're getting ready for pro day. It's, it's been a, a long season, just from the season to, to combine, the training. How's that process been going for you? Well, it's been more good, man. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it, it's kind of, it gets kind of stressful at times, you know, uh, simply for the fact that you really don't know what's going to happen. Uh, but, I mean, I've just been glad, man, just, uh, uh, just being ready to take advantage of my opportunities. Like, uh, I have a workout with New Orleans on the 23rd, as well as on Friday. So, you know, you got to get right, get my technique right for those. So when you get to pro day, what, what would you say is the main thing that you really want to put on display? What do you want to show these NFL folks? Uh, well, I want to lower my forty from the combine. Uh, at, at least when, when I uh, try around a low 4-4. And uh, just um, stay low on my back so and looking real smooth in my transition. I think those things are the things I need to uh, just improve on from the combine and, and show in the first count that I can't do those things. So speaking of the combine, you were obviously there. You, you ran. You know, you looked pretty good in, in the field drills. What was? Did you get to talk to any any personnel folks while you were out there? And if so, what was some of the feedback that you got from them? Oh, uh, well, really, no things, man. Just, uh, just staying low on my back pedal because uh, I felt, I felt pretty smooth or whatever. I just, um, my back pedal was really hot, and uh, out of all the feedback, that that was the main thing, especially uh, the, the things that I do need to work on for uh, making uh, the difference in my product and, and just looking smooth and looking more, more low as far as my back pedal stuff like that. So those are some things measurable wise that you know they they apparently wanted you to work on. But I mean, let's face it: every week you were going against a, a pretty good receiver in the SEC. So one of the things I wanted to talk to you about was just you know, when you got the matchup with, with Deronnie Wilson. You know, he's obviously a bigger receiver, and I, I'm always intrigued by how corners like yourself are able to match up with them and, and hold their own. How how were you able to just go against a guy like that? What's your approach, and, and what were some things that you were able to do that worked? Oh uh, well, with, with a guy like Durant, man, when his being so big, uh, you kind of have to play around him. Uh, I mean, uh, he, he's the type of receiver, man. He wants to get you in his game, and, and his game is a is a physical push off game. And with me being a smaller guy, I just have to, you know, just take the correct angles when I'm jumping routes or if I'm pressing, just use my feet more and, and don't turn into a, a boxing match because when you're getting a little guy, I'm never going to win that game. You know, with, with a stronger guy like the race. And, uh, I mean, he's a talented receiver, man. He does what he does well. Uh, he knows how to use his body. So it really just taking the proper angles, uh, cutting them off and press or just, let's say we run a curl, just trying to play around a bigger guy like him and, and play the ball more than the actual man. So conversely, you went against another receiver, a guy who's seen a lot of success in the NFL, and that's Odell Beckham Jr. You had a pretty good game against him as an underclassman. So how about yeah. that experience? Well, what was it that, 
allowed you to be able to come through like that against uh, LSU and, and Beckham Jr. Uh, well, really, man, it's he it, it, it must talk to him, man. Like he's the type of player that he was, and the hype leading to the game, and him actually like living up to the hype, man. He just it kind of just brought another side out of me. And uh, he was just, I mean, he, he kind of got it from my game a little bit as far as he kind of got the talk and stuff like that. And he's a great player, though. He, he's raised my game up, you know. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it it was actually fun, man. It was it, it was fun to be on that big stage and, and, and have a lot of expectation and uh, to actually come through with it. And he's been such a good receiver, man. Like, like I said, he really brought the best out of me. And, uh, I mean, ever since then, I mean, I've been real, real close with, with every <laughs> receiver from then on. Uh, I mean, yeah, it, it was a great experience, though, simply for the fact that of how good he was and how he just brought another side out of me, uh, a side that I could carry on to this day as far as just being physical, being comfortable out there, and, you know, just trusting my technique, things like that. Yeah, exactly. When you're going against a guy that's so fundamentally sound like he is, you definitely have to be uh, sound yourself technique-wise. So that's a really good point. I like how you mentioned just the, the competition, how it brought out the best in you. That's that's another thing that's that's really good. When when you yeah. are when you are on the field, I mean, do you classify yourself like? Are you a, a talker? Do, do you try to get into the receiver's head? Oh, uh, I mean, it, it really just depends, man. It really it, it, it switched up like uh like type of receiver on play. I mean, you got those you got those receivers like Amari Cooper who you go against so you're not gonna get in his head. It's just gonna be can you beat this man athletically for four quarters? <laughs> and I mean then you got you got other guys who you can get in their head and uh, I mean, it really just I just tell it to the game plan, man. man. It's, if I if I see that a receiver I can get on the receiver's skin and disrupt his game. Uh, I mean, I'll do that. But as far as me, uh, my game, I mean, I, I try to stay pretty even kill, man. I try to, you know, not get too high when it's going good, not get too low when it's going bad. As a core, you got to have a short memory. So, uh, I mean, those things play well in it. But, uh, yeah, it really just, man, just turn into the type of receiver you're playing. I mean, every receiver is different, uh, in my opinion. So you got to attack them different. Uh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That's a wise approach, you know. You, you tell her to the the opposition. When you first got to A uh, and M, I mean, you were a guy. You were a four star um, recruit. You know, one of the top DBs in, in in the nation. What was it that that drove you to to A and M? Oh, I mean, it, it was a legacy thing. I mean, yeah. uh, my father played there. My my uh, my uh, uncle played there. Uh, those were the initial reasons. And then, really, man, like, the time that I did sit down there before I went, actually, and made my decision, it just felt like a family type of environment. The environment I feel I can grow in, and that's really what drove my decision. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned your father, and having a a, a, a dad like you had, you know, that, that could, he played in the league, and he actually played a position that, that, that you're going against, uh, you know, every week. Uh, what, what's what's some of the things that you were able to gather from him, and, and what would you say is the best bit of advice that you got from? Him? Uh, well, really, just just my competitive nature. I mean, like like uh, I mean, he he could never really like like teach me how to play corner simply because he is a receiver, and he can only teach me uh, from a receiver standpoint. But he can, or he did teach me just you know just compete like. Like, that's what I got to do, compete. With me being a smaller guy, my heart has to be big. Like, uh, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't give up before the next guy can. And, and, and just that. It's just, uh, you know, just give it to all. Like, if you, whatever you do, whether you play receiver, whether you play corner, whether you play local guard, you got to, uh, you know, give your best showing. Every time you want to get somebody else, even though know, you may be smaller, you got to show them what you're blessed with heart-wise. Hey, that's my oh, very good advice. Very good advice. So, hey, man, Devontae, I appreciate you coming on. Definitely wanted to, you know, talk a little shop with you, get into your mind about the whole approach to the process and the game. And, uh, you know, I wish you the best. I know your pro day is coming up in a couple of weeks, so we'll definitely want to get you back on after that. Already, man. I appreciate you having me on, man.
All right. Thanks a lot, man. Have a good one. That wraps up this edition of Talking with TD. Be sure to check out all of my interview segments at footballgameplan.com slash talking with TD. If you have any questions or people you want me to sit down with, hit me up on Twitter at tdavenport underscore NFL.